Hello everybody, welcome to runout.tv, it's Mal here and I'm playing today a few racks with my friend Rackboy. Don't know much about Rackboy. <clears throat> Although I've seen him on here quite a lot. Um, I played a bit of bullyards yesterday, got a uh, one spare and 11 strikes, uh, won all my matches, but couldn't um, couldn't take the time, they for some reason made it double a limb, which is weird, <coughs> but anyway, uh, okay, let's, oh, oh, I need a bounce, need a bounce, that was a bit lucky there, um, we're just negotiating a match here, we're <laughs> just saying, Rest of five won't take five. I suck as I'm arrogant, by the way. That's because either way, I'm quite a fast player. So if I manage to win, fast. If I manage to lose, generally quite fast too. So I just need to play something a little bit more pace, just to rum rumble that in and uh, just get the white down mid table. There that looks pretty good for a one nil lead. So, the break has got a lot harder. I'm going to increase this to 2.5. Oh, what have I done there? Oh, get back in. Don't tend to get a ball down these days on the break. I might get the three here. Um, so, three. No shot here, so I'm just going to probably lay the trap, play a bit safe. Oh, dear. Oh, that was a terrible shot there. What I was trying to do was get me out of six, but went really, really wrong. Um, bit of a poor effort, really. Not playing in the weekly Sunday snooker. I just don't fancy it at all. It takes too long. In my view, they need to get the tournaments down at to two hours max, rather than any sort of full evening effort, but... Who am I to tell them? As long as GSB and Hugh think it's good, then it happens that way. So We'll see what the rest of them like. That could be enough. It needs to hit the seven. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky Rack Boy. I'm not saying Rat Boy, by the way. It's actually Rack Boy. It's, uh, it's kind of like Bud Fox. It always sounds like you say Bud Fox in Wall Street. Right, let's. We should hopefully take a 2 0 lead here. Oh no, I haven't hit that hard enough. Oh, just about got it. So I'm going to have to do a bit more hit here than I wanted to do. Um, come right back across the table. Oh god, I missed again! Ah, grr. A few random misses. Oops. Oh, it's nice to start a nice chilling game. <sighs> a bit tired at the moment, actually. <laughs> well, I did excuse that miss. Oh, unlucky, sir. I thought that was going to go. If we look right over the top of this shot here, I mean, that is hanging. Look at that. Any single, probably 30% over. 40% over. I don't know. Very unlucky there. Rockboy should have won that one. Would have took his rating over 2,000. Actually, I'm not sure if it increases rock by rock or not. So apparently we're close to a release of the beta version. But... Like everything else, it's impossible to know what the hell I talk about. Was it I ball? Oh, well, I've got a ball in. However, the one ball looks tricky, and I completely lost the white. 
but because we are brave we're going to go for the courageous one ball and mess it up and leave it on so rec boy here with a chance to take advantage i don't think he can pot the one so i think it's probably going to have to be a safety shot not an easy safety shot here but perhaps just roll the white try and leave the white behind the blue roll the white into the six and just hope we don't pot it that's one option that's another option but that is the problem you're rolling it towards the pocket so this one just needs a bit of speed control bloody hell oh dear that's going to be a jumper but I have got the added bonus of the seven to stop the white thank you just saying unlucky uh, it's not usually my my standard really so let's Well, I got a little bit lucky there. Could have gone in off, but the problem with this one is I've now knocked the green into a really awkward position. Uh, so I now need to think about just not hitting the seven would be a very good start. Got a bit of a glance and blow, so I'm just going to say thank you. Should always the etiquette is we always say thank you for opponents commenting on our shots. It's just one of the nice things we do on VP4. Looks like we're going to take a 3 0 lead here. And there we go, 3 0. So, next break, let's try a bit further along. It's 3 3 degrees. Any friends off the break? Nope. And a bit of an awkward split. If you look at the 2, the 4, and the 6, the little group, and also the 5s looking particularly evil. So if he does clear up off the break here, it would be quite some effort. I don't think I'm going to be able to clear up. Probably the player makes the right decision there. And very effectively ducks for... Um, so I think what I'm going to try and do here is jump the four and just send the one up the table. Just like that. Might even get the snooker myself. could go for the three fouls here now that shot was kind of half mad because that's a nice hit so here I think it's to go either behind the three um, I'll try and glance this one then go behind the black so let's see what we end up with oh dear a big fail is what we end up with that didn't go right at all now, if I was him, it's probably worth going for the 9 here, because the 4 is really tricky, the 6 is tricky, but I suppose it's to roll them up once you get through a few balls. Decides not to do that. Um, I would say, given the position of the 4, he could have took that on, but that's just me being probably a bit reckless. Decided to go for the clearance instead. And has done a good job so far. And has actually left himself an angle to get into this four. So he's doing very well here. And the three with a bit of topspin here. Not hit too hard because he'll go past the if he hits it too hard. But that's a lovely effort. And it's worked out absolutely perfectly. But as you can see, only halfway there because the six is a real problem. So some more work to do. I'd hit that a little bit harder trying to open them both up. So now you could play it with a bit of bottom right hand side and he might go off three cushions and open the six up. And it doubles very hard because it's completely frozen. He's loading up with right hand side to try and get the six out and he's going to hit it. That is an excellent, excellent shot. The only problem is now if he breaks down it's an easy clearance but all credit to him so far for this. It's a really good effort and if he can plant the six on under the eight... He's going to lose the white if he does that, though. And the white could very easily, if he's playing with a bit of side spin to throw the six, he could put the white in the pocket. Got to be careful. And he decides to, to put 
to either duck or play a double. Unfortunately, not an easy clearance, but we'll say good run until then. Because I think I think he deserved a bit of praise there. I think it's a nice, nice effort. So we needed a little bit of luck and we got it. So I think that's probably going to be that's a bit harsh on on Rackboy really. Um, that really is a little bit harsh on him because he did all the hard work and then you know just ran out of position a little bit and I get the rack I mean that's nine ball folks it's a hard game you've got to solve the puzzles and once you've done that you've got to then clear up unlucky um, so we're now see if the old nine degree break works this might go wrong wow <laughs> <laughs> so uh right we need to jump but it's gonna be a very very slight jump so, so just tap in the queue here oh that's a beautiful shot there now what we're gonna do here is, is double the three and follow the white so the white ends up near the middle pocket, so we'll see what happens. Oh, it's too much, not quite there. So I had the right idea, that was probably the... So I said, thank you. I keep, I never watch the chat. Um, first shot was a good shot, but just had a, another recovery shot to make. Didn't quite get there, so Rack Boy gets another chance in this fifth rack. Doesn't take it though, leaves... Well, probably worth going for the double here. It's probably going to be safe if I miss. So I have missed. However, I knew that was not going to be too drastic. If that missed, it's now very tough to hit. So I'm fashioning out an advantage here. That was kind of a shot or nothing. If it went in, I won the rack. I don't know if that's not a foul, you know. Yeah, foul loose ball not hit. So just gonna have another look at that one. Really close. Oh, very, very close indeed. Very close. Very hard to tell what he hit first, but the computer's very rarely wrong in those situations. So we should should close the match out now. Just have to make sure we drift the white past. The seven, although that was slightly further than I anticipated, would be pretty embarrassing to to knock that into the. Oh no, what have I done here? I thought I'd blown it there. My cue ball control's been a little bit weird, not quite as tight as what I'm used to. Um. down well it's not really worked either hmm. let's see if I can just put this away maybe more to say in this match yet oh he's missed oh bugger hmm. yes we expect to get those but uh, 4 nil down Just saying, if I keep doing that, you've got nothing to worry about. Should have had that stitched up, but never mind. You should hopefully get another chance, and it's all it's all good match practice and getting used to those emotions when you when when you feel a bit bad or like you let yourself down, etc. Oh, now so we instantly get another chance. We've got to now look for the best route to get to the to get to the two here. So I think it's not actually hitting it that hard. And that looks okay. I think I might be on it. I might have took it too far not being on it, but I think that's okay, yeah. So I'm quite confident here that I'm going to hopefully close it out now, which 
I didn't do before. Uh, what do I do here? Do I load up with right? Probably best to load up with right hand side. Well, that didn't take as much as I thought it was going to do. Now I've got the problem of a, a tight cut and also losing the white a little bit here. I'm going to bank on the fact that I'm not going to hit the 8, but I could very well hit the 8 here. Yeah, and I've left myself problems now. Oh, no, I can just see it. Well, that's very lucky. Well, that's, that's more lucky than I deserved. Shit all like that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I'm all over the shop here, guys. It's now left myself a tricky eight ball, and uh, probably have to come over. Well, anyway, I got the good shot. Left myself played a good shot on the eight there, and uh, been keeping good game. So well done to Rackboy, but I win five one. So thanks for playing. Catch me again on the next video.